One of the more common questions asked of me when I'm showing Animate to my students is, can we bring in external content from other applications? And the answer is absolutely. And in this exercise, I'm going to show you how to bring a Google Map into an Animate presentation or an Animate composition. To get yourself started, open up the map.an file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that we've got the Video to Brain logo here, and it's asking a simple question, where is Video to Brain? Well, Video to Brain head offices are located in Graz, Austria. And what we want to do is show people where the office is located, and we're going to use Google Map for that purpose. So we're going to pop over to Google Maps, and you just type in Video to Brain, and it'll tell you it's in Graz, Austria. And there's the map we want, and there's the location of the office. And we want to bring this map into Animate. To do that, you just click the link here. And you don't grab the short URL. What you do is you grab this. And you've got to grab it all. And if you don't think you've got it all, well, one of the things you can do is you can click Customize and Preview Embedded Map. And you can see there's the map that's going to go in. And it's the code that you need is right here. So you can just come down, select it all, and copy it to your clipboard. So Command C, and you can close this window. This is just a pop-up window. And we can go back to Animate. Now that we've got the embed code sitting on the clipboard, we're going to have to find a way of getting it into our presentation. Well, the first thing that you want to do is just create a holder for it. So I'm going to create a rectangle. So I select the Rectangle tool, and we're going to put it in this little area here. And you don't need to really have a color in it, so you can just turn off the background color for the rectangle. And what you're going to name it, the element, is map box. That way you know exactly what's going in this element in the composition. Now the next step is to select your map box element, right click, and convert it to a symbol. And we'll call it map. Click OK. And you can see you've got the map symbol sitting right there in your library. Double click the symbol to edit it in place. And then make sure that you do not have the symbol selected. Now what we're going to do is have the map load in when the symbol is created. So that's going to require us to use a creation complete event. So you make sure that you're in the properties panel. The map is showing as a symbol and you open the Actions dialog box and select Creation Complete. The first step in the process is we're going to actually create a variable. We're going to rename our map box to something a little bit more manageable. So we're going to create a variable, VAR, and we'll call it Container. And it's going to equal sim. OK, so we're going into the existing symbol, dot, dollar sign. This is jQuery. So jQuery is going to go into the symbol and find an element. And we're going to answer the question, what element are we looking for? Single quote, and it's going to be map box. You see there's the name of the element there. So map box, single quote, close the bracket, semicolon. So we've created our variable to hold it. And now what we're going to do is bring in the map. So we're going to create a variable. So we'll call it var map equals single quote space single quote semicolon right there. And the code that's sitting on the clipboard goes right between the single quotes. So you just click once between them and paste. Now we've got a bit of a problem here. And I want to point this out to you. Our box is not 425 by 350. If you want to use your own custom size, you can force the iframe into that custom size. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What you do is you select the number. OK, so the width and it's single quote plus sign container. OK, so that's the thing that's in the element dot width bracket bracket plus sign single quote. OK, so we've just done the width. Now we're going to do the same thing for the height. Single quote, plus sign, container, dot, height, bracket, bracket, plus sign, single quotation mark. And then finally, we take that HTML, that's the iframe here, and put it into our container. So container, dot, HTML that's going to go into the container is found in our map variable.
Notice there's no quotation marks or anything like that. It's just HTML bracket map close bracket semicolon. Close the code, come back to the stage, and let's see if it works. Command return to test in the browser. And there's our map. And you notice it fits into the area that we've given it. We can uh, view a larger map. You can get directions. You can do everything. And this is all the stuff that's available to you in Google Maps. You can make it larger. You can make it smaller. You can even close this and then just move around inside the map. So there you go. There's how you can use the uh, Google Map API to bring a map into your Animate projects. If I go back to Animate, essentially what you do is you grab the embed code, create an area where you want the map to go, convert it to a symbol, and then use a creation complete event to display the map inside that object. And one other thing I showed you was you don't have to use the numbers that are hardwired into the Google map. You can use this little bit of code right here to actually put the map in the size of the container, which we have as the map box, that box in the map box element to fit. And we did that with the width and we did that with the height. So there you go. There's using Google Maps and Animate Compositions.